It's supposed to be a moment What good is being the one When you the only one that knows it YouTube, Xiang Xuan Xuan. And in this video, we're going to talk about the dribbling systems in every single 2K, what was so great about them, what was so wrong about them, and how it needs to be in NBA 2K21. Now, here is the time to start, you know, spamming the devs and the tweets, making your videos, your wish list, not just at the end of the game. You gotta do it now while they're developing the game. And why they can make early changes because for some reason they can't do it during the game now listen okay i probably know single-handedly me me you know i probably know about i've been playing since the first 2k by the way by the way make sure y'all subscribe like the video turn on post notifications do all that good stuff listen i probably know more about the animations than any other person that's ever played 2k been playing since the first 2k a lot of the dribble gods iso gods they all come under the tree of the swan if i never existed they most likely would never exist okay i'm very educated when it comes to 2k even though i barely be on that thing i'm just a genius now look listen nba 2k 15 right and th this is a very important video so please listen let me know how you feel in the comments and express this under the tweets because i tweeted at ld by the way even the devs know this because they they respond to me more than anyone else and i even got the most clout there's a reason for that bro there's a reason for that um and i barely tweet them so nba 2k 15 now the move a lot of people bro if you didn't play the game just shut up okay you old head blah 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 pipe down Shh. But look, NBA 2K15, the movement was incredible. It was extremely fast. The overall movement, like the movement of the game. Everyone was fast on offense, defense. The, the true problem with the game was it was basically almost impossible to rip people, bro. Like, it was, like, really hard. <laughs> I mean, they, they need to, if they're trying to make um, unpluckable work, they need to go into 2K15 and really get in. It was impossible. On God, it was it was so hard to rip good people. Like it was like really hard. Now the movement, the dribbling, it was it was phenomenal. The only problems, right? The only true problems were crossover 16, crossover 18, and crossover 2 being able to chain into um 16 and i think it could chain into 18 too and then there was like um crossover 10 and it was just cheesy stuff and it was like unstoppable because unpluckable now all they had to do was remove those things um the shooting for instance by the way if you guys didn't know patch 4 of nba 2k 15 was ruined 2k before that, it was hard to shoot in NBA 2K15. That's where you could tell a lot of people did not play 2K15. They didn't play it. It was, bro, it was like, it was a really good game the first three patches. A lot of y'all didn't play, bro, because how 2K is now, 18 through 20, those contested shots are basically 2K15 patch four, bro. And like, like y'all are just seeing highlights and stuff, but it only became broken after patch four. And that's after all the bums complain and they ruined it. It used to be hard to get 40 in the wreck. Just imagine that. Now anyone can go on the wreck and just drop a hundred and they could do that back then too. There's a reason for that, okay? Now, um, basically I wish they would go back to a system like that. The, the hezzies, the, the step backs when you hold this, it was just so fluid and creative. It was phenomenal, bruh, phenomenal. Now, now let me know if y'all think 2K15 was the best dribbling 2K or if it was the worst or what you would want it, want it to be different, blah, blah, blah. Um, 2K16, the dribbling, now look, this is when speed boosting was faster. You know, the gameplay speed slowed down a little, you know? To where it's not just you know you just moving but the actual speed boost when you do a move and 
that increased dramatically, which increased the skill gap dramatically. A lot of people, a lot of these my team heads, old people, they couldn't keep up with talented players because they could move at such speeds that they just didn't have the skill to react. But when you seen good players play good players, they shut down the speed booster, okay? The dribbling, the size ups, it was nice and fluid. That hop step kill, we loved it. We loved hop steps in 16, you know? The community loved it, you know? If you want your game to do well, have the YouTubers happy. Have the top comp people happy. Then the rest of your community is gonna be amazing. But if you're only catering to bum people who barely play a game and don't grind it, or don't convince people to, to really play it, you're going to create a lot of upset people. And when people make it, they, they're going to leave your game, bro. I'm telling you, okay? Now with 16, the speed boost. The, it, this, it gotta be in the new 2K. The, that burst, it, it's just, it creates a different skill gap. The chaining, all of that, it was, it was just, it was sexy. Similar to 15 okay the momentums were fast there was just diversity there were so many things you could do right it was just amazing and the defense on 16 was phenomenal if you were actually good you could stop people if you weren't on the same level you weren't winning okay you weren't winning the dribbling the speed boosting the movement of the game had a lot more freedom than the current 2ks that have been coming out on um I believe 16 was the best 2K overall. Now, 2K17, this is when the game starts to really fall off. The skill gap, the fun gap, everything. You know, it starts to like really fall off when these archetypes come. Now, 17, the speed of it, like the speed of your movement was slower in 17. There were some things you couldn't do like mechanically, like like a wiggle to just score, but they did have a lot of like quick dribbling and stuff and a lot of other stuff, but it wasn't as fast as 15 and 16, and that's why the skill gap diminished. They introduced brick wall and all this other stuff. That's why people, people stopped isoing in 17. You know, that was the real downfall. Now, 17, we thought it was just terrible. But compared to compared to 18, 19, and 20, oh my God, bro. The the movement speed and all that was was way better. Like here, here's how you have to make your 2K, okay? When it comes to 17, this is be a good example. 17, they had stamina restrictions, correct? So when you have stamina restrictions, you have to have a high ankle breaker frequency which 17 had, that's why it was cool, you know? That's why it was cool in the, ice specs of, in the aspects of ISO and dribbling, you know? In 16 and 15, they didn't have a high ankle breaker frequency, but you had unlimited stamina, get it? That's how you create great dribbling and ISOing, and you really have people have fun on your game, you know? The hop steps, they weren't as good and as deadly as uh, 16, but you they were still fast, you know? They really, there was only like one hop step I think you could use. Um, and then the rhythm dribbles were nice, you know? You could just keep doing them and then burst out them quick. It's stuff like that that creates the gap to where people can't compete with other people. Now, 18, ugh disgusting the movement of the game probably the worst 2k <laughs> the worst 2k ever the movement of the game absolutely disgusting now once you learned how to chain together dribble moves you could move at higher speeds but that game was very slow the stamina was very trash and the ankle breaker was non-existence all you had to do was put your hands up that's why dribbling in that game was an L. If you knew how to do all the little steezo rolling and stuff, you might like that, but it's trash. Like it, it was it was really trash, but compared to 20, 
18 dribbling was way better. It's not, bro. Oh my God. This, <laughs> this is why that behind the back, y'all shouldn't have voted for wanting that out the game. Because this is what they do, just like what they did with 16. So they thought speed boosting was too overpowered. They took it out the game at the end, right? So you 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 know you give someone an inch, they take a mile, bro. You know it's the it's the domino effect. You can't let things like that happen. This is why I was like, ah, I don't know if y'all want that, you know, you know. And it was 16. They took the hop step out. Now hop steps aren't aren't nothing. They're nothing like they were. They took them out in 17, 18. They not there. I'm telling you, they take stuff out the game. Future 2Ks, it's not gonna be there anymore, bro. You know? Um, so 18, you can still, you know, have fast momentums like the dribbling. It was cool, but the walking size ups was almost the worst thing ever. And then they try to create so many pauses in the game. 17 was where they really tried to create pauses when you're doing dribble moves and stuff, so you can't be as quick. This is where they really tried to nerf dribblers and isoers and all that hoobla. Um, 17's where it started, but in 18, bruh, they took it to a whole nother level and you really had to know what moves to do to be able to be efficient and stuff. And now in 19, 19 was way better than 18. The real problem with 19 was the you know, the post scores, the takeover, you know, they took it too far. You still couldn't break ankles, but the dribbling system, they got back on track. They got back on track. It was cool, bro. It was cool. You know, the dribble speed, you know, the movement was increased from 18 dramatically, right? So that was a plus, you know, still not compared to 17. You know, but it's a plus, you know, you could do a lot of fast moves, a lot of fast combos. You don't have the true like speed boost that to where it's like 16, but there was the movement and the dribbling was dope. Okay. It was dope. There was some problems, a lot of pauses. They still got in there. Still no hop step, still no NBA 2K15 step back. Still no, you know, a lot of stuff that they're missing that they, they really need to bring all the dribbling together like dead ass and like stop all the pausing. Let people go crazy instead of nerfing offense. What they need to do is just increase defensive movement. That's it, bro. That's all you got to do. Let people get cooked, man. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you now. In 20, 20 is terrible. The dribbling is terrible. This might be the worst dribbling ever. Like just offensive movement, excitement. There's so many pauses. There's so much things they try to limit. There's so much that they took out. It's just, it's it's absolutely atrocious. I could still ISO drop 21 every every game, but it's just like it's just it's so disgusting bruh like compared to past 2ks you know it's just you feel so restricted and slow and sluggish and just it's just unexciting you know because it's not no true speed now they took the behind the back out the game i don't think they should have did that because it's a domino effect and that was basically the only move to really combat the op locks you know the true problem is brick wall. That's the true problem. Brick wall and screens are more overpowered than any badge, any archetype, any dribble move, any speed boost, any build, any hop step. That's the real problem, bro. You nerf that, you gonna have people start playing a lot more different real type of ball. But in 20, bro, they, you know, they increased the speed boost speed but the, the overall movement and all that, it's just, it's bad. And it, it has to be stopped. Slow momentums, rhythm dribbles, slow. This, there's so much sluggish movement that in 2K21, what they have to do, have to do, okay? They have to make it like 15. 
just not the crossover 16 and 18. They have to make it like 15, 16, and 17 combined. And a little bit of 19. No walking size ups, no pause cutting. Just let people go crazy. And you will get such amazing feedback. Only bums will complain. But let people go crazy. But just increase the lateral quickness speed. That's why in 16, people were so good at defense because they had a lot of defensive badges and they had high defensive attributes, okay? Lockdown shouldn't exist. Every player should have defense, okay? Um, I'm, I'm telling you, bro, this is how you create a balanced, super fun, and skill gap 2K where bums can't compete with the absolutely elite, you know? To where, you know, because after 17 all the my gm players all the my career players all the my team players they could start playing park you know there's a reason for that you know and they could start competing with people they could start having you know a lot of people that were never good at certain things they could start being decent you know it's because the skill gap was was cruised tremendously and that that's why a lot of people came up because now it's more just about iq you know it's it's less about individual skill it's not just oh i'm better than everyone on the court you're destroyed it's more about lineups tactics you know badges you don't want a game like that bro you want a skill gap game and that's basically what's the ha what has to happen with 2k i tweeted out you know, LD made a little ear uh, tweet right after. You know, they, they seem to fuck with me. So y'all stay posted. I'm going to be making videos about, like, what needs to be changed with 2K. So stay tuned. Turn on post notifications. Subscribe if you're new. And, um, you know, just hit, just message Baluba, LD, and just express these thoughts if you are congruent with me. You feel me? Follow me on Twitter. Um... Make sure you go to the gym seven days a week. Drink a gallon of water a day. I'm out this hole. Let me know what you want me to talk about next. And, um, yeah.